All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Today, there's not going to be any little ferret moving around. He's just going to be there as a static image. Because I'm, I am actually in a game ready to jump into 3.15 live. For Star Citizen. So, we're going to quickly knock this out. Because uh, Australian politicians said something dumb. Pfft, yeah, um, I, there's so much to cover today. Um, but I want to talk about this because this is giving you guys sort of a, an idea of where Australia is heading and, and what you can expect in the rest of the world. So obviously this is just one Prime Minister or President or Prime or Senator. He's no longer in power, but obviously he said something completely stupid. Bill Carr says unvaccinated should not be given free health care if they catch COVID after ignoring the warnings. Which is not exactly what the heading was when it first went live. Uh, his original statement was, unvaccinated should not be given health care. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, original heading was, Bill Carr, Bob Carr wants unvaccinated COVID patients to pay for their welfare stupidity. But they've changed it. But the former, Minister, uh, former Premier has called on the government to follow Singapore's decision to discontinue free COVID-19 treatments for residents who choose not to get vaccinated. So, we do have the video. We will jump into that and then we'll talk. So, let's listen to what the moron has to say. View on where Labor goes for those midterm targets. The opposition leader and the climate spokesman, Chris <laughs> Bowen, today both saying that they will detail, you know, where Labor is heading after Glasgow. Should, I know you're calling for more ambition, but if they are cautious, can you understand the caution given recent political history? Oh, absolutely. And I think if you've got an international conference with every nation in the world represented, that it makes powerful common sense for the opposition party in Australia to say, well, we're going to absorb what happens at that conference. We're going to take into account, uh, going to take into account what's being said there. You've had a commitment from the Chinese only in the last few days. Uh, well, when China says we're going to decarbonise our Belt and Road, and we're going to do that off the back of a decision that we will not fund any more coal-fired power stations outside China, uh, you ought to be seeing what more... Hang on, hang on. We're not going to fund any more coal power stations outside of China. Interesting. Why, why are we just worrying about outside China? What about inside China? More is said by China when it comes to coal-fired power domestically. So this is, this is moving pretty fast. It's moving domestically. We're seeing what more is said by China when it comes to coal-fired power domestically. Interesting question, isn't it? But it's not the reason for this call. Let's keep going. So this is, this is moving pretty fast. It's moving in the US Senate uh, because of the difficult position that President Bi Biden faces with his altogether admirable initiatives on climate. You've got the prospect of two Democrat senator defections mm. taking the guts of his climate commitment out of that $3 trillion um, social yeah. welfare spending bill. And that would, be, that would be the Biden commitment to see that by 2035, the entire American electricity grid was decarbonized. So how, how are the gas prices in America going right now, people? I haven't got, I haven't got an update. Someone let me know! <laughs> At the moment, I think the gas prices are so high that even a dope fiend is like, Ugh. This has got moving parts in it, both encouraging and both discouraging, and federal Labor's entitled to say, let's Can see we, yeah, let's allies just... like the United States, particularly in the context of the recent uh, AUKUS deal. And allies, friend Curtis, a keen interest, I know. And that's when Republicans talk about a... They talk about Japan, New Zealand, as if that's... Calm, appreciate your time as always. Thank you for that. OK, there was no reason for that link there, but anyway. So, former New South Wales Prime Minister Bob Carr has called on the government to follow Singapore's decision to discuss, uh, discontinue free COVID treatments for unvaxxed patients. On Monday, the Singapore government announced from December 8th, residents who were not double jabbed would have to pay for their medical bills 
if they contracted the highly infectious virus while fully vaccinated, would be reimbursed. Uh, okay, do you get a tax break in Singapore? Uh, Mr. Carr says that Australia and the resident uh, residents who chose not to protect should be forced to pay for their willful stupidity. And the people that did get the jab and got sick should be reimbursed for their vaccine. Oh, wait, hang on, they can't. My bad. For, for those Singapore's legislation, no medical bill, uh, or hospital expenses to be reimbursed to people who are not vaccinated without medical justification and then contract COVID. He wrote on Tuesday. You ignore warnings, you get the disease. You pay for your willful stupidity, not the rest of us. This is this is Labour. This is the, this is the equivalent to the Democrats in Australia, by the way. So, fellow Singapore, right? Uh, the next day, Mr. Carr doubled down on his comments, slamming the pig-headed view to refuse vaccination, calling it a violation of rights. By golly, golly, gosh, your government is violating your rights, or you're violating your rights by not getting a government vaccine. What? I, I can't even think of how this is actually working out. Normally I can make a joke about something so stupid, but I, I can't even think how it would be a violation of rights to not get a medical procedure enforced by the government. Uh, anyway. Here's the deal. For many, this virus will be a death sentence, he wrote on Twitter. Not actually true. Waiting for fact checkers on that one. The pig-headed view of this is the perfect right to be unvaccinated without medical justification is violated, potentially fatal, and the rights of those alive in it. If you don't have any three or more comorbidities for COVID, your chances of dying are like 0.02%. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure I had COVID a while ago. I didn't die. I'm still here. As much as the internet might get disappointed by that. Um, so this should be enforced as well as we enforce free, uh, smoke free work environments or not driving while drunk. In Singapore, the decision to dis, uh, discontinue free health care for unvaccinated COVID patients came as the government noted that those who would not receive coronavirus vaccine made up a sizable majority of those receiving the treatment in the intensive care, which is weird because in America it's actually not. But anyway, currently unvaccinated persons make up a sizable majority of those requiring intensive uh, and patient care and disproportionately continue to their strain on their health services. Okay, what about fat people? Or people that smoke? Uh, people that smoke causing a, a large drain of resources when it comes to, to, for example, lung transfers. Maybe we need to stop transferring lungs into people who smoke. Or giving out free medical health to smokers who develop things like emphysema. They're just going to have to just... Look, it was their own stupidity. Right? That's, that's the attitude we're going to have. Hey, wait, you're overweight. That's because of your own stupidity. We can't help you with that. No, no funds for gastric bypass surgery anymore. You're overweight. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Guess what? No medical bills for you. You know, oh wait, you're a dope feed? Oh wait, you're you you you've been doing heroin? Sorry. Do you mind? Sorry, I'd love to give you that free medical health, but you know, hey, you are the one that spoke the dope. You are the one that did the heroin. We have to just stop giving you medical treatment now, you're a drain on resources. Like, can you imagine someone making that argument? Oh, the left would lose it. But they're more than happy to make the argument when it comes to, you know, forcing people to get a medical procedure for, you know, government regulations. Singaporean health... Uh, Authorities found the number of unvaccinated patients who received intensive care treatment were more than 10 times per 100,000 for those that were fully vaxxed. 
Over the past seven days, the number of fully vaccinated and non-fully vaccinated cases or critical in the ICU are at 0.5 and 5.2% of 100,000 of the population. Over the same period, the number of fully vaccinated and fully vaccinated cases who died are 0.1 and 0.9 per 100,000, respectively. I'd love to know what Singapore is declaring as fully vaxxed. It's interesting how they're saying fully vaxxed people is 0.1. Okay, but what about people that are actually being submitted to hospital who are partially vaxxed? Oh, wait, they're unvaccinated. We don't count that. Oh, no, we've got to bump those unvaccinated numbers up. So we're going, to, we're going to move those people over to that. Right? You're not, you haven't got your double jab. You're not fully vaxxed. And in six months' time, it's going to be, you haven't got your booster shot. You're not fully vaxxed. Right? Because they always got to keep bumping those numbers up. We've got to make it seem like it's so much worse than it really is. Um, at the end of the day, obviously, um, this is, obviously, Bob Carr's just been a complete f -wit. At the end of the day, I the, the, <laughs> he's labour. What, what do you expect, right? I have I said the other day, I was saying to someone, I said this on Twitter, I think it was, I'm not voting for any major party anymore. I, I used to vote Liberal. Because they were the lesser of two evils. I'm not doing that anymore. Now, it's me. I'm going to vote for Pauline Hanson or or Craig... Uh, Clive Palmer. So, at the end of the day, I would rather throw my vote away and give it to those guys than I would to give it to Labour or Liberal. I do know that they give their preferences to Labour and Liberal and stuff like that. I get that. But, at the end of the day, I, I would rather get them in power than Labour or Liberal... And if they have to make deals to get the seats and stuff like that, maybe Clive Palmer, if he gets enough votes, maybe he can go through and he can affect balance. So, yeah, maybe we can get some of these mandates ruled back. But guys, obviously, as you can imagine, this has gone down like a lead balloon on Twitter. So this is Sky News who's reported on this. Someone wrote, 100% totally agree, to which I replied with, <laughs> cover me harder, daddy. Uh, interesting the fact that that doesn't show up. You have to click show more replies, eh? But yeah, I, I prefer chain gangs or sins in the public stocks. Calling for government to discontinue lung cancer treatment for those that are smoke. Clown world, yeah, pretty much. Uh, also, smoking is a tax to reflect the cost. Yeah, but they also partially cost, right? What about, like, lung transfers? What about emphysema treatments? Uh, why are we still paying for politicians who no longer have anything to do with politics? Uh, uh, that's a, it's an interesting question, Mr. Carr. Hey, well, we're going to start slashing some of those expenses. You know, maybe we should stop paying some ex-politicians some salary. Looking at some in particular. Uh, uh, where would the end such silly remark? Um, someone's replied in regards to Carter. Uh, Bob Carr, sorry. I just realised the Medicare levy for those who aren't... Those who aren't... Smokers are taxed for this reason. Yeah. So you actually have to um, pay more for cigarettes. But that's because you're actually paying for the cigarettes, right? No one's actually paying to get COVID. Uh, better to stop uh, pensions from retiring politicians than make a cause to our limited area. So, are the unvaccinated New South Wales should no longer pay taxes? Yep, can't disagree. I would have to opt out and not pay my own medical bills, but I'm not paying taxes. So I lock the unvaxxed out of the tax system as well as society. See how many end up getting the booster then. Probably not a lot. Yeah, not surprised, someone wrote. It's shameful of this bloody guy. So now we're starting to get into the negative replies, right? Because this is obviously what Twitter's trying to filter out. What's with ex politicians believing there's some kind of elder statesman? Please go away. <laughs> uh, why are these exes coming out of the closet so much to say? Because well, they're not. They don't have to worry about running for politician, right? He he has the the benefit of saying what he wants. 
without having to run for politician anymore. Welcome to the world, Rich Maid. Uh, guy is on crack. Look at him. That's a, yeah. Uh, if you get it, get it from a vaccinated person, they still pass it on. The viral loads are no different. We can sue them and the government for allowing them to be reckless. We'll never stop posting uh, about the blah blah blah. Blame the citizens, never the government, for their incompetence. Warful stupidity. Perfect description of the unpatriotic, free, dumb rioters and anti-vaxxers. I would say they're actually patriotic. Hate to tell you, buddy, but my grandfather died. and, and Well, he didn't die in the war, but he fought in the war. And has later since died. And um, he, he fought to protect your freedoms. Which gives you the right to say this on Twitter. And it also gives me the right to say, fuck your vaccination. What clever little man. Yeah. Um, like, as you can imagine, it's gone down pretty well on Twitter. Like, yeah, people just love hearing what Bill, Bob Carr has to say. At the end of the day, guys, obviously, you know, as for Bob Carr, fuck you. As for the vaccinations, fuck you. Um, I haven't had to have it yet. I've been lucky. I've been... Yeah, tiptoeing around the minefield. Um, I'm going to... Look, if I have to get it because of my job, <laughs> that's, a, that's something I'm going to have to think about. But at the moment, I am trying my best to avoid it. Apart from that, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I will uh, see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great night. I'm off to go play Star Citizen. Ciao, yo!